guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting swatch party video. I totally said I wasn't going to buy this palette, then it was out of stock and the FOMO kicked in and I was like, Karen, how are you going to have a Juvia's Place palette collection and not have every single palette? Yeah, that really actually happened. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to swatch this for you guys. I just got this in the mail, like literally just got this in the mail. So yeah, this is how it comes. They always have beautiful packaging, Juvia's Place does, and here it says on the back, the Amazons, inspired by the ferocious and decapitating beauty of the Dahomey Amazons of Africa, who died societal norms to protect their people. A true embodiment of strength, fierceness, and beauty, the Warrior Palette consists of nine highly pigmented shades. Now, the reason I didn't pick this up is I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't need another neutral palette, but you guys, I do collect Juvia's Place palettes and I feel like I just I just needed this for my collection. Also, I just want to support because they are a women-owned brand and I believe they are a black-owned brand. You guys, if you've seen Black Panther, like you probably understand my obsession, the makeup and the freaking outfits in that video are just like, oh my god, they like speak to me on a personal level. Like I want to live in Wakanda because all the women in that video in that movie like their outfits were mind-blowing and as soon as i saw that movie i was like oh my gosh like i the like the inspiration must be from juvia's place because a lot of that like color palette and things like that were very prominent so yeah i couldn't help myself here is a beautiful like golden pattern and then again uh this is just beautiful very very beautiful and then here is a piece of plastic that i always weirdly hold on to and here are what the shades look like so definitely not some like revolutionary new color palette but it is so delicious and i was like you know what i really like the juvia's place formula i have been loving the uh douche palette those colors like i just want to put all of my new palettes down and just use that palette because those colors like speak to me on like a spiritual level. I don't think I ever reviewed the douche palette for you guys and I haven't reviewed the festival palette either. It just, you guys, who can keep up? Like makeup companies are literally releasing palettes like, I mean, I can't keep up. So if you guys want to see reviews on the older palettes, definitely let me know. Looks like there are three mattes and the rest are shimmer shades. So the other six are shimmers. And it's nice because I think they kind of gave you a crease color and a brow bone color and a deepening up shade and then the rest you can use on your lids. So this is going to be somebody's like go to everyday work palette I feel like. Now are these shades brand new? Like do you think you can't find these neutrals in the other Juvia's Place palettes? I don't think that's the case. I think that if you go through your collection, you should be able to easily find substitute shades to these ones in your existing Juvia's Place collection. But I do like having, you know, color stories in my eyeshadow palette collection so that if I'm feeling a certain type of way, like if I'm feeling just all neutrals, I can just grab this palette and go. So it's very exciting. Also, if you have the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette, you probably don't need this one, but you know, that is the world we live in. So I'm just going to put the shade names on the screen just to make it easy for you guys. And I'm going to dip into the next three shades here. So here are the next three shades. Super beautiful. I think that no matter what skin tone you are, you can get really good use out of this palette. If you are a really deep skin tone, you might actually be able to use this as a crease color. Otherwise, you could also maybe use this as a contour shade if you are really, really dark or, you know, medium skin tone. Um, I feel like eyeshadows can definitely be used for multiple purposes. It's definitely not something that's like a one purpose use, especially when you get such big pans. There's no reason why you can't use them for multiple things. So here are the last three shades and I'm just gonna swatch. These are so printed. So I'm just gonna put the names of the last three on the screen as well. Hopefully you guys are able to get a good look at these. And uh, I'm not too worried about pigmentation and stuff. I know finger swatches are not the end all be all of all palettes, but when it comes to Juvia's Place, I'm pretty confident in their quality. So let me know if you guys would like to see a review of this palette. I would be more than happy to start working on a review for you guys.
Okay, that is everything for swatches. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do try to upload every other day so you get quite a bit of content from me. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!